known as the flavor fanatic on Netflix Bake Squad. Maya Camille Brossard is here in our Studio 41 kitchen to share a pizza pie puff recipe and tell us about <laughs> an upcoming event at Yvette West Loop. Thank you for being here. Of course. Thank you for having me. I love it here. So <laughs> you guys are going to do you're going to do a five course pie dinner at mm -hmm. Yvette. Tell us yes. about that. Yeah. So I am featuring five dishes that are in my cookbook, Justice of the Pies. They include quiches, tarts, pot pies. We're doing an apple braised turkey Ooh. pot pie. Mm, honey. Mm. Ooh, you're like, mm. Mm. Yeah, it's so good. So good. Yeah. It, it's so good. I, if I do say so <laughs> myself. <laughs> oh, yes. um, and then we're going to do our open face pizza puff. And then for dessert, we're going to do the cover featured pie, which is lemon espresso pie. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so much fantastic. to unravel here. But first, let's talk about the pizza pie mm -hmm. here. This is, as we were talking about, mm -hmm. It's really a hood kind of food, but yeah. you're taking it up a level. Yeah, we call it a hood snack. You know, snack. the snack okay. that you find at the corner store or a bodega. And I grew up eating these, and I would get like a bag of French fries, mm. and then put barbecue sauce and shake up the bag. And really? A piece of puff in one hand and French yes, fries in the other. It the um, it's actually a Chicago-based company, um, so many people outside of Chicago or Illinois are not really that familiar with it. But it is greasy. Okay. And you know, it's tasty, but it's made not be the healthiest thing. So what I've done is because I created this recipe inspired by Tanya Lozano, mm -hmm. who is the founder of Healthy Hood Shy. Mm. And she's all about um, decreasing the uh, age, the life expectancy gap between people of color and others. And so I wanted to create a healthier version of our hood snack. Yes, I love fantastic. This. So what, what's involved here? So I have ground turkey that I've um, sauteed and then put a tomato paste and a bunch of spices in it and what's cool about this is let's say you don't want ground turkey you want to make it vegetarian you try with tofu oh, yeah. or like um vegan yes. combos or what oh, have you yeah. that's great and then we have puff pastry so i do have a recipe in my book for puff pastry as well which mm -hmm. is buttery and flaky mm -hmm. and we're just going to egg wash the puff pastry and that's an expensive egg, <laughs> no. that one expensive egg. <laughs> you know but you know what's really interesting brown eggs organic eggs and cage-free eggs are now cheaper than the conventional egg. So if you want to, you know, save oh. a little bit, oh, okay. I will brush these with the cage-free egg. There you go. So there you go. Better for the environment too, right? And better right. for the animals. Mm -hmm. And so I just brush these on the top very lightly. And then I'm going to take my turkey ground uh, mixture. Please feel free to give it a taste. Oh, You'll yeah. see oh, that yeah. it has um, a bit of Italian spices like oregano and Mm -hmm. Basil, oh, yeah. Ooh, a chunk yeah. full of garlic it and is onions. Such flavorful. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is really so good. So we just put a little dollop on oh. each puff pastry. Oh, it's got a little kick there in the yeah. end, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Look, you know what this is? So you could cut the puff pastry in whatever size. And so this is perfect for hors d'oeuvres, but if I wanted um, a bigger portion, cut it to size and fill it to size as well. Mm -hmm. I love that. My kids might eat that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they will. Yeah. They will. And then we just put a little bit of basil in there. Um, I like to put fresh basil, um, meaning uncut, but also a little bit of basil on there that will wilt while it's baking, mm -hmm. but it'll still be yummy. And then we'll pop that into the oven. Okay. And then this is what you have Do when you it's fold all it? done. Did you fold it or how did you? No. Just, that just cooks like that. That just cooks around like, oh. Oh, it cooks around the ground beef, yeah, and it's a nice, beautiful sheen on it. So we are definitely serving this at a vet wow. on January 25th. We're doing a five-course dinner. There's going to be wine and cocktail pairings with each course. I love this. Oh tickets gosh. still available, right? Yes, tickets are still available, but got to add fast because we have limited seating. We want it to be an intimate dining experience, mm -hmm. and it's going to be at the Avecca River North because they do have two locations. Two locations. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good to know. And then folks who want to try the recipe for themselves, your cookbook is the amazing. Cook the cookbook is available wherever books are sold, but I will urge people to support independent booksellers. And, you know, the book is filled with not just sweet pies, but quiches that are healthy. Yeah. Pot pies that could feed the family, mm -hmm. um, tarts and whoopie pies so Ooh. kids can make it. It's not mm -hmm. super complicated. All right. Well, this, this is, is not your... super complicated too. I love that. No, this is your first book. It is my first book. It is your baby. baby. Yes. <laughs> so 
so sweet. So 85 recipes in there? Yes, 85 recipes. And 10 of those recipes are inspired by people who use their work to positively impact the lives of others. So I share a story about the work that they do, and then I created the recipe inspired by their work and explain why and how. Um, that recipe is inspired by them. That oh, is amazing. Man. And then Bake Squad 2 mm -hmm. is on tomorrow. Netflix now? Starting tomorrow. 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 Oh, yes. yes. Cool. Season 2. Season 2. See, we tried to get this out of her the last time she was here, but she <laughs> wouldn't talk about it. So it did happen, everybody. Yep. Maya Camille, thank you for coming thank in. You for I coming appreciate in. it. So thank great. you. All right. Uh, information there for Justice of the Pod Dinner. It is January 25th at Avec River North. Social media handles as well as the website there.